Good morning, welcome back to my channel. Today is Parker's birthday and so we are headed to get him a cake and some balloons. I got his card the other day, I still need to fill it out. He had something to do this morning so I like quickly jumped out of bed like as soon as I saw that he left. And then I came to the garage and I realized he took my car because he definitely thought I would not be out this early. So now we're driving the Jeep. I'm gonna get him the same cake that I get him every year because it's like his favorite cake, it's from Whole Foods. And I'm just gonna come back, put it out, and then I'm gonna get back in bed so like he thinks that we didn't go anywhere. <laughs> How old is daddy? He's 34. 34? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I'm, I get really scared driving this car it's just because it's so big. I know, baby. I'm, I'm going to wait till you're back and then I'll go. I'm just talking about getting out of the garage. He didn't actually getting out of the garage isn't the problem. It's getting back in the garage that like he's going to know that we left because I do not know how to back this up in here. So I'm just going to have to park on the side of the house and then he'll have to come do this later. He's going to open the garage and probably think that his car got stolen or something. <laughs> I can't figure out how he closes the garage. Like I know this is programmed but it's not wanting to close. Oh, wow. You know what I just thought about? I really hope Whole Foods takes Apple Pay because Parker has my purse with my cards. Love that. I'm already almost here, so I'm gonna try it anyways. <laughs> Daddy likes these ones. This one. That one? Yeah, I love these. He's gonna love them? Yep. They didn't have any birthday balloons. Yeah, that's that's sad. So we got dad some flowers. Yeah. It, it's dead. Yeah. It's okay, those are pretty. Huh? Those are pretty. Oliver picked them out by himself, huh? I really wanted to get balloons or something, but they didn't have them here, which is kind of weird. And then Oliver wanted to get him these flowers, so I'm gonna go home, mainly because I don't want Parker to see my location and know that we came out to get them, because I want him to see them when we get home. Look at this cute card I found the other day. It says, I can't wait to grow old with you. I'm gonna cover up what I said, because um, I don't do PDA. <laughs> it looks like you've gotten a head start, because get it, like he's He's getting old. <laughs> I'm gonna set this up in our room because the past few days have been hard for me to go downstairs again. I thought I was getting better like with my smells and like being super gaggy, but I don't know, like the past three days I just cannot go downstairs and so I don't wanna sit down there and struggle because I don't want Gemma to get his cake. So I'm just gonna set it up in here. Regardless, like he's gonna come up here when he gets home to come see me, so it will just, be a cake in his room. <laughs> Yum. When I first started getting him this cake like seven years ago, they did not have this size. You used to have to get like a giant ass cake and before it would just be like he and I eating the cake and we had so much cake left over. And even this size, like the boys are gonna have some, I'm gonna have some, he'll have some and we'll still have cake left over. Bro, imagine if I leave the cake right here in front of my barf bags. Let's not do that. <laughs> and by my nose plugs. Okay, actually, I'm going to put it up here because he's tall. And so when he walks in, this will definitely be the first thing that he sees. <laughs> You're nervous? Balloons. I'm so nervous. Why? Because I don't want to cry. I'm scared. Why? I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say bye! Alright, everybody. Well, thank you, guys. I'm sorry. I, I was. Oh, thank you guys. What do you guys flowers for your dad brought them? Uh, me, me, me and mommy flowers. You went and got them? Yeah. Um, sneaky, sneaky. I can't share it because I don't want to sit. <laughs> don't read it out loud. <laughs> A surprise! Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. It is 
days later <laughs> i did not get this camera all weekend i don't know why i never vlog on the weekends i think maybe just because our weekends are always so chaotic it's honestly harder to vlog when you have a lot of shit going on and the boys are with me and like yeah you know it's just chaotic but it is monday i'm about to go to my nail appointment my freaking nail broke i could definitely go like another week without having to get a new set but i can't like be like this because this one has a crack on it too I'm my hair really quick and then i'm going to do my makeup really quick and we're gonna go to the nail salon i have a few errands to run and then brian has practice today because it got canceled yesterday because we we're like under freaking tornado watch tornado season has been so real this year i'm gonna record because i don't know where my other battery is and i want to save the life of this battery so that i can vlog today so i'll just be back and like look presentable in like a second <laughs> okay guys it has been a few hours i went and got my nails done i wanted to stick with the pink because you know i'm having a girl and i'm like still not over it and pink is my favorite color and easter is this weekend and it's just like very fitting for like spring this is definitely a little more pinky than i thought it was gonna be but i'm not even mad at it i actually love it while i was getting my nails done i was watching desi perkins video she was like talking about pregnancy with one of her friends and they were eating animal style fries and my mouth was watering the whole appointment i could not stop thinking about these freaking animal style fries so now i am at in and out and i'm getting some animal style fries because i need them immediately parker wants some food too but honestly he's gonna have to wait like i need to eat these fries when they're hot and fresh in the car i'm gonna get him food but it's just gonna be sitting right here for a sec while i eat my animal fries i don't have cravings a lot so when i do have them i need them like immediately because they get super intense I'm so excited for these though and a dr pepper just sounds so good can i do a number two with just meat and cheese and spread and then I'm gonna do a side of animal style fries. In the first week Thank thing. you. So I'm getting those, and then I really wanted to go to the mall to get some clothes. Today is like the first hot day. I'm so excited, it's 90 degrees right now. I love the heat, I'm like a land lizard, like a human lizard. I thrive when it's like 100 degrees outside. I know that probably sounds so crazy, but I love it. It's finally starting to warm up, and so with the bump, even though it's not big, and I know I'm still early along, compared to what my super thin body looks like it is big for me didn't realize that your girl did not own or or does not own anything except crop tops and so everything i'm wearing my belly is just sticking out which wasn't a problem when it was chilly out because i would just put a sweatsuit on and just put a hoodie on but it's too hot for that now so i wanted to go to the mall and get like some shorts not like jean shorts like some comfy sweat shorts from erie but like regular t-shirts that aren't super cropped because i don't mind wearing crop tops like i'm having my fucking belly out this summer but don't want to be like wearing a bra like there's a difference between like a crop top and like a bra you know what i mean and a lot of my crop tops are looking very bra-ish right now I wanted to go to american eagle ear like slash eerie because they always have really soft like basics like that let me go do that if i have time because i'm gonna eat these fries and i have to take parker his food and then brian maybe parker can get brian but we'll see if not i can go tomorrow it's not that deep so excited for these fries you have no idea so i feel like i haven't even talked about having a daughter which i probably should do with parker because it has been like still so shocking to us like the thought that we're gonna have a freaking daughter because i just posted the gender reveal i didn't even like talk about it after we found out at random parker's just like oh my god i cannot believe we're gonna have a freaking daughter and i'm just like i know like i cannot believe we're gonna have like a little baby girl in this house it's so weird i'm super excited for it i know on tiktok like there was i don't know where people were getting this where people were like she just wants to be a boy mom like she doesn't want to have a girl i never said that i also never said that i want i never said that i wanted to have like any gender i always said from the jump that like even before I got pregnant, I said that I was okay with having another boy or I was okay with having a girl. I just didn't want to be like, I want a girl or I want a boy because then if I were to um, have another boy, I would be excited. But I know everybody would be like, oh, oh, like this is your last chance to have a girl, which doesn't really make pregnant people feel good. Like whenever 
they're having a gender and people wanted them to have the other gender it is so mean to be disappointed at their gender like i don't know i just felt like my feelings were going to be hurt if i was having another boy and although i would be excited i feel like everybody would have been like oh no like you should have had the girl and i know that's the case because everybody was so excited for the girl like no one thought i was gonna have another boy which like i mean it makes sense but what if i was gonna have another boy like my feelings would have been so hurt if people were to show like a disappointment for that little boy even though I was equally excited to have another boy or to have a girl I feel like I could talk about this forever but just like stop stop like telling people like oh my god you need to have the girl or oh my god you need to have the boy because it's not nice it is not nice it does not make them feel good because they don't really get to decide what they're gonna have like obviously if you do like IVF like yeah you have that decision but I didn't do IVF so I wouldn't have had that option if I got another boy my little brand because I feel like a lot of people on TikTok were like, oh my god, no, like you said you wanted to have all boys. I never said that. I just said that I would genuinely be okay with having all boys, like staying a boy mom. But I would also be really excited to have a girl. This in an outline is bumping. I'm gonna open them because I'm also filming a TikTok vlog today. Oh, my hair. But these are definitely hitting the spot as I thought they would. Mm. so good not to sound like a Karen but this couple next to me pulled up yelling at their kids they have four kids in the back of the car that only is supposed to fit three and one of them looks three years old and it's not in a car seat I don't like that I'm not gonna say nothing because I'm not trying to get shot, but I am judging. Like, curtsy stuff really, I don't know, it really scares me. Oliver, he's still in this Nuna Rava. Still has like 10 pounds till he's good out of it. So he still has a while, but I feel like at five, six years old, people are kind of putting their kids in booster seats. I'm not ready to put him in a booster seat. I still want him to be in like a regular ass car seat. I don't know. I just don't see like him going into, ew, my hair, going into a booster seat like anytime soon. Okay, let me take part of his food before it gets cold because that would be so rude. And I hate when he brings me cold food. But I just needed to eat those fries like fresh. What's up, sweetie? Can you come grab this? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm on the phone with this. Okay, let's go return all of this boyish stuff like let me give you an example if you're an all-girl mom and you're tired of like all the pink and stuff i could totally i could totally make this cute with like a bow and stuff you know but to me as a boy mom this is just giving boy so this has to go back same with this one it is super super cute but i also got it in the pink corally color so i might as well just take this back and get like a cuter girl outfit you know what i mean I need to go through all of Oliver's baby clothes. I got rid of a lot of it. Parker had an employee that was having a baby boy and they were asking, not asking for some help, but you know, I just wanted to offer my help and I knew that I had so much baby stuff. So I went through all the baby stuff and gave them stuff that I wasn't like super attached to, but I didn't realize how much of Oliver's shit I was attached to. And so I still have like, three of those giant bags that you can suction and make them smaller and so i need to go through them because a lot of that i can still use because they're just like plain gray or white onesies because with oliver i did get a lot of neutral things a lot of that i can still use and then the stuff that i won't use i'll just donate Some of it is like newborn newborn because that was like a very memorable time with me with oliver and i just was like attached to all that stuff so i need to go through that not today though i'll do that before we move so in like a month or two. Let's go do this quickly because we need to get Brian in like 30 minutes. I returned all that stuff. I'm here getting Brian. I started to rush a little bit because the return line got a little bit crazy. I returned all that stuff and then obviously I picked up some more stuff. Not really a lot of baby stuff just because the cute stuff I already have, honestly, and they don't really have anything new. I did get some new sunglasses, which I don't really think I needed new sunglasses. But sometimes they just disappear. I was checking how many I had in there before I put these in there and then people think I'm crazy. Got this pair. 
I love me a good pair of orange sunglasses, like in the summer. How cute are these? Got these ones. I really do love me some like cute, fun pair of sunglasses that aren't just like a plain color. I like to get cute colors for the summer. When you go in the boat, you go in the pool with your cute swimsuits, you have some cute sunnies. These ones are really cute. I haven't had a style like this since like middle school, I feel like, but okay, this tag. I feel like with my hair up, cute. And then last for sunglasses, I just got a pair of plain black ones. I had a pair like this and I don't know if they ended up in Parker's Jeep or my nephew took them because he likes these type of sunglasses, but I just got another pair of like plain black sunnies. You could not really go wrong with these. I'm gonna go to the mall tomorrow with my sister to see if I can find some bigger shirts. Target, I don't know. Something about Target recently is just not giving what I need to give. I did get these little shorts. I said I was gonna stop getting like the crop top bra things, but I got this one. I got it in a medium. It looks big, but I want it to be a little bit bigger on me and my breast assist is growing like every freaking day so i got a medium when usually i would get like an extra small like dude my titties i don't know what's going on i think they're preparing me for the formula shortage that i didn't know was still going on i was really going back and forth about breastfeeding this time around i'm one of those people that just do not enjoy breastfeeding i know this might be like confrontational for some people whatever it's my body my choice i do not like to breastfeed i do do it for like the first few weeks for you know all that good stuff that supposedly they're supposed to get and then after that i'm just like mm, no this time around i thought i was just gonna do it like because my milk comes in pretty quick too like it comes in before i even leave the hospital so I was thinking I just was gonna give her the colostrum, pretty sure that's how you say it, and then like bring formula with me to the hospital. But now I'm starting to be on like baby talk and there's still a formula shortage. I thought that was like done with, but apparently not. So now I'm like, shit, should I plan to be breastfeeding? Cause I remember when the formula shortage was really, really bad and I remember seeing moms in Target like, freaking out not just on tiktok i saw it a lot on tiktok but i actually saw it in person like i would see moms in the formula aisle with their little babies like calling their husbands or calling other stores and just being like they don't have it and that would freak me the fuck out not being able to feed my baby so i think i might try and breastfeed even though i really did not want to i don't know we'll see but anyways this will fit my boobs now and then i'll just wear like a little cover-up y'all know i love my cover-up and then for the baby i got some bows these are the first bows i've gotten her and then i just got one little outfit that i saw i have nothing against like a little belly showing a little crop top like i think that is so cute but i do think that there's like a limit i really really love when baby girls and like girls like little girls are dressed like little girls it is so cute to me and so i saw this and i know to some people they might be like oh my god that's ugly like that's like the typical baby clothes this is so fucking cute to me that's all i got at target i'm here getting brian now and my camera's gonna die but i did plug in my other battery but i still think i'm gonna end this vlog here because tomorrow i'm gonna go to the mall with my sister so i'll start a new vlog so Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. <laughs> I wanted to do a haul before I put a lot of this away. I'm not going to continue to vlog today because I need to get a vlog up. I'm like a week late. This past week was just like a blur to me. I want to do this haul really quick, put all of this away and then I'm going to edit the vlog to get it up hopefully tonight or tomorrow. It's a mix of everything. I went and got myself some bigger clothes because all of my stuff is like crop tops and stuff and I didn't really like that whenever I go to the boys baseball practices and games and just in general like when I'm hanging out with my family I don't really mind like this like this is cute to me um but all of my crop tops are like this like bras so 
I don't really want to be showing up to baseball games and practice like this. I like to be milfy, but I also like to be like pretty conservative with my kids, like what, what I'm wearing and stuff. I didn't find that much stuff, but they're starting to put out summer stuff. So I'm going to go again probably next week and get some more stuff. And then obviously I got baby girl a whole bunch of stuff that I want to show you guys. I still have some more coming in online, but I need to chill the fuck out because I know my family like for my baby shower is going to get her a lot of stuff too. But I just like cannot help it. The stuff is just so cute. I've never had a baby girl before and I don't know. I just cannot help myself. So did a bunch of shopping for the boys for their summer clothes. My boys wear uniform to school so I don't really do like I do a haul for their summer clothes and then I'll get them like a whole bunch of winter clothes but it's just like sweatpants and hoodies so on the weekends they have comfy clothes to wear. I don't do like shopping all year round because they wear uniform during the school year but like right before the summer and right before the winter I just do like giant hauls for them. They're both at the age where they're just growing out of everything. Before Oliver could like use his hoodies for like two seasons and he cannot do that anymore. It's really weird. Brian too. Like Brian is just growing so tall. He cannot do that anymore. So I'll start off with the stuff that I got for myself. I wanted to go to American Eagle and like the Eerie. They had some really cute stuff. You guys know I love my matching sets. So I got these pink shorts with this matching top. It's supposed to be a crop top so I wanted to get the medium so that at least will like cover my freaking belly button. I got it in white with the same color tank. I love when I see girls on Instagram like being really fashionable pregnant women and I always was like if I get pregnant again i'm gonna be that i'm not, i like cannot be that and then i got it in orange with the matching top you know that saying is like if i like it i'll get, just get it in a different color that's totally me <laughs> and then i went to zara this is the same day i went to zara with my sister i just got some of these normal shirts what size did i get this in yeah i got these in mediums so that i can wear like short leggings underneath it and i got it in this color too and then i got baby girl this little outfit for her going home outfit i thought this was so cute i got the same one for oliver in blue five six years ago and this will live on so like if she ever has kids of her own and she wants to like give these to her kids that would be so cute this little sweater for her coming home outfit with oliver it just was like a blue sweater it didn't have the little print like this and then i want to find her like a cute matching bonnet or something and then from target these are all separate days by the way I got this i was like walking past the baby section and i saw that this was on sale it's originally 59 and was on sale for 41 it's these little bottles i've seen them everywhere i didn't have these i don't know if these were around with Oliver I'm just like a creature of habit and that's why I got the Dr. Brown bottles. I used Dr. Brown bottles with Brian and Oliver and I just wanted to try something new this time. Dr. Brown bottles are really fucking tedious. They're a lot of pieces to clean and they're honestly just really fucking annoying. And then I got this from Target. I got this cute little outfit. Wait, I think I already showed this. In the last vlog or in this vlog, I think it was in the last vlog. I already showed all this. Walmart, the day that I found out she was a girl, I went to go like look for the sprinkles and stuff. Walmart has the cutest baby girl stuff. I don't shop at Walmart, so I don't know. I definitely would sleep on that. In the summer, she'll be like seven, six, seven, eight, nine, ten months. And so that's really the clothes that I'm focusing on. Like when they're newborns, I basically just keep them in onesies and sleepers. And I know I have a whole bunch from Oliver that are just like white and gray. So I'm not getting that many. I did get some, but I'm not getting that much newborn stuff because I know I have so much. I'm mainly focusing on like the months that we won't be at home, which is when she's like six months plus and it's going to be warming up. So I got like this little crop top shirt with these little bottoms look how cute they are with like this little crop top i got these little shorts this top look how cute with, like her little pigtails that would be so cute this onesie i think would be really cute to just like chill barbecue one night in the summer the boys stuff i'm going to speed through this not because i don't care about the boys stuff anymore but just because it's really all like a whole bunch of basics and stuff sorry my ass is like out i'm trying to pull my shorts down honestly i really do get them a lot of the same stuff in the summer because they ruin it and i like having basics because they dress themselves like whenever i was dressing them i would get them more stuff that i would have to like go in the room and match but i love just having 
normal shorts and shirts so when i'm like get ready they can just go pick something out and they're ready for their swim trunks i got brian these ones and then i got oliver similar ones they're like the same color this burnt orange but then they have lizards on them like those i don't know what they're called they're lizards he took them whenever i opened the box and i don't know where they are now so i love that this is for oliver plain shirt for oliver some shorts plain shirt for oliver these are for brian also did wear a few of the stuff that i got them this weekend so some of it's not in here anymore this is for oliver we love some neons in the summer brian brian oliver oliver brian oliver dude these are exactly like the ones that i got from walmart for brian there's three different shirts in here i love these packs and oliver some sandals these might be a little bit too wide for his skinny feet but they'll work for the pool and the beach that's that for the boys for right now i do need to get them like some tank tops because it does get to like 100 degrees here but other than that, that will be good for their summer break before they go back to school. So I got this little cute top. These matching bottoms. Oh my god, look how tiny these are. And these look how cute these little flowers are. This matching top. We need to move already so that I can have her room because all of her stuff combined with all of my stuff in my closet is just not working right now. Oh my goodness, look how tiny this is. This is cute. It has like little cherries on it and like this pale pink and this sagey color his little pants but i just could not not get this like look at this little swimsuit look how cute this is little hearts stop this is so so cute this is another swimsuit i got she's about to have so many swimsuits just like me because I'm a swimsuit whore. I have like a thousand of them. This one's really cute. It has little strawberries on it. Last from there, basically just got what I know she's gonna be living in for the first few weeks of her life because this is exactly what Oliver lived in. Y'all, look at these little tiny ass pants compared to my hand. And I got it with this matching one. I got it in this pale baby pink, this, and then in this cute pink with this oh my god this is so tiny i could not this is like the size of my face i don't actually know what's in this box it might just be pr oh it's from origins yeah this is oh my god i thought i broke it out for a sec it's i guess like a new launch that they're having the mega mushroom oh my fucking god i just broke my nail can you see the crack this is a new set oh wait did they accidentally send me two? Oh, it's a retinol, which I cannot use right now. Me. Ooh. These are like the things I see people using. I could totally be doing this wrong, but this actually feels so good. And then a sleepy mask. I wish I could use, but with my lashes, it kind of just feels weird. Let me know how you guys felt about this little haul, and I will continue to do them because summer's hitting, and summer is like peak shopping time for me. I don't really shop in the winter because I just live in sweats and hoodies, and I don't really do anything, but summer, I love shopping in the summer. See you in my next video.